every blessing you pour out I'll turn back to praise when the darkness closes in love still I will say blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be your name blessed be the name Blessed be your name when the sun's shining down on me, when the world's all that it should be. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering, though there's pain in the offering. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in love, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Good afternoon and welcome to Sacred Heart St. Joseph Parish. I invite you to stand and join me in singing number 181, Christ the Lord is Risen Today, number 181. Victim undefiled, 
God and sinners reconciled When in strange and awesome strife Met together death and life Christians on this happy day It's the joy of vows to pay Christ the Lord is risen on high Now he lives no more to die Say, O wandering Mary, say What you saw along the way I beheld two angels bright Empty to man wrappings white I beheld the glory bright Of the risen Lord of light Christ my hope is risen again Now he lives and lives to reign And good afternoon And we gather in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy and you're seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. 
Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all of those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. shepherd there is nothing I shall want the Lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall want the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want in verdant pastures he gives me repose Beside restful waters He leads me He refreshes my soul The Lord is my shepherd There is nothing I shall want He guides me in right paths for his name's sake Even though I walk in the dark valley I fear no evil For you are at my side With your rod and your staff That give me courage The Lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want Only goodness and kindness follow me All the days of my life And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord For years to come The Lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall want. Our second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that, free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, 
for you had gone astray like sheep. But you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice. As the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he's driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I'm the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly and the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's what we call Good Shepherd Sunday. That's what this weekend is. And we think about the Good Shepherd, and it makes me think about my time when I spent out in Opie, Kansas, and Hartford. You know I was the pastor in Opie and Hartford for nine years before I came here. And I've been here about 30. No, no, I haven't. But sometimes it feels like that. No, I've been here for about 16. But I was out there for nine years. And one of the things that we used to do during the year was there was a little Methodist church in town as well. And every year we would have what we had, these joint vespers where we'd come together and pray together. There's nothing wrong with that. It was great. And so we would do that. One year it would be at the Methodist Church, and then one year it would be at St. Joseph's, and then the next year it would transfer and so forth. But I remember the first time I walked into the Methodist Church there, I looked on the walls, and they had two paintings on the walls. And one of the paintings was that old picture of Jesus knocking at the door. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where Jesus, he's knocking at the door, and he's kind of got his ear to the door a little bit. But anyway, they had that painting. But the other painting they had was the one of where Jesus is carrying the sheep on his shoulders, and he's got this big smile on his face. He's delighted. He's happy. He's found the lost sheep. It makes me think of that story, too. The story of the hundred sheep, and how one gets lost, 
and how the good shepherd goes out. He leaves the 99 behind and he goes out to look for that lost sheep. And when he finds it, there's great joy and celebration. That's kind of the way it is in our lives too. You know, when we get lost in sin, when we kind of fall away from the flock, Jesus comes and looks for us. He searches for us and he offers us his grace and his mercy and there's no greater joy than to have a repentant sinner. We hear that in another gospel. There's no greater joy than one repentant sinner over the 99 who are righteous, who have no need to repent. So when I think of the Good Shepherd this Sunday, those images come to mind. Now what we're going to do on this Good Shepherd Sunday is we've been asked to have a special collection. And I'll tell you what the special collection's all about. It's really for the training of new shepherds and also taking care of our older retired shepherds. But yeah, this collection is for the education of our seminarians. You know, we're really blessed. We have 25 seminarians studying for the archdiocese. That's amazing. We have a lot. When I was in, we had three when I was in seminary. So we have 25 seminarians, but with more seminarians, it costs more to educate them and send them to school in the seminary. So this collection is to help with their education and give them that support. It's also, this collection is on the opposite extreme of things. It's for our retired priests. We have 22 retired priests in the archdiocese and to help assist in their retirement and their needs and so forth. So we'll have that collection. We'll have our first collection, our ordinary collection like we regularly do, and then we'll have a second collection to support those two things. And let's stand now for our creed. I believe. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Eternal Father, confident that you hear and answer our every prayer, we now present to you our humble petition. Let us pray for the universal church, for a spirit of growth and renewal throughout the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that we may follow the shepherd, Jesus Christ, more faithfully in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in the world, especially in the Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all our sick and their caretakers, May they know the healing hand of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, especially for the souls of Bruce Pfeiffer and Rudy Nagabauer, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they come to share in the eternal joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And good and loving Father, hear the prayers we offer you today. In your love and mercy, answer them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Please join in singing number 340 in the hymnal, Behold the Lamb, number 340. Those who work in the dark are thankful for the sunlight. We who live, we who die are grateful for His gift. Thankful for His love. Behold Shall live <coughs> and 
And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice of your kingdom. Praise and glory in his name. All his holy church. And grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, and drink this cup we proclaim your death O Lord until you come again and therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
Joseph and James, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Of all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Thank you for serving today. Peace. Thank you. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. sins of the world grant us peace and behold the Lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb Lord I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please join in singing number 461 in the hymnal, Shepherd Me, O God, number 461. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Gently you raise me and heal my weary soul. You lead me by pathways of righteousness and truth. Your spirit shall sing the music of your name. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my Beyond my fears, from death into life. Though I should wander the valley of death, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Your rod and your staff, my comfort and my hope. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. You have set me a banquet of love. In the face of hatred, crowning me with love beyond my power to hold. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Surely your kindness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants. Beyond my fears, from death into life. stories of what they think you're like, but I've heard the tender whisper of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're 
good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. Just a couple of announcements. First of all, we're looking for some additional school board members for Holy Family School. If you'd like to serve on the school board, that would be great. We're looking especially people that have a, uh, understanding of financial operations, development, and facilities. So if you have those knowledge or you're knowledgeable of those things, we'd love to have you on the school board for Holy Family. Also, after Mass, they're selling cinnamon rolls. Uh, there's not too many of them left, so get them after Mass. They're right in the back by the baptismal font. And let's stand now for our closing prayer. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Our closing song today is number 586. In the hymnal, They'll Know We Are Christians, number 586. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord, we are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord, and we pray that our unity may one day be restored, and they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love, yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love, we will walk each other we will walk hand in hand we will walk with each other we will walk hand in hand and together we'll spread the news that god is in our land and they'll know we are christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are christians by our love we will work with each other we will work side by side we will work with each other we will work side by side and we'll guard each one's dignity and save each one's pride and they'll know we are christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are christians by our love Oh, praise to the Father, who, 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 all things come. And a praise to Christ Jesus, His only Son. And a praise to the Spirit, who, who makes us one. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. the song today.